This man financed the civil rights movement. A.G. Gaston was a businessman who was the major financial supporter of the civil rights movement in the 1950s and 1960s. He was known for his wealth and willingness to use it to support the cause. This included voter registration drives, activist training, funding for lawyers, and bailing out civil rights leaders such as Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks when they were arrested for their activism. Gaston was a major donor to organizations that were at the forefront of the movement, such as the NAACP and the SCLC. Among the many businesses A.G. Gaston owned, he owned a motel and frequently opened the motel's guest rooms to civil rights activists. Reverend Ralph Abernathy and Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. were regular guests, with Room 30 becoming Reverend King's war room in spring of 1963. It was in that room where Dr. King decided to defy court injunction and be jailed alongside local protesters, a move that led to his famous open letter, Letter from Birmingham Jail. A.G. Gaston faced a great deal of violence in his pursuit to fund the civil rights movement. On May 11, 1963, four people of the KKK attempted to blow up part of the A.G. Gaston Motel, where King and Abernathy were staying. In September of that same year, unidentified people believed to be associated with the KKK threw firebombs at Gaston's house a day after he and his wife attended the state dinner at the White House with President John F. Kennedy. A.G. Gaston lived to be 103 years old. He died on January 19, 1996. His net worth was estimated to be more than $130 million at the time of his death. He left behind an insurance company, a construction firm, a funeral home, and a financial institution. In 2017, President Barack Obama designated the A.G. Gaston Motel the center of the Birmingham Civil Rights National Monument. Gaston was an important figure in the history of the civil rights movement and a shining example of the role that black business leaders played in advancing social justice. What are your thoughts? Would the civil rights movement be as successful without A.G. Gaston? Let me know in the comments.